got talented musicians in the building. That is absolutely <laughs> true. We got Emma Jude, Devin Cahill joining us this morning, singer-songwriters, both of them. And uh, uh, Emma, you're traveling around the country. And mm -hmm. when, you, when you perform, do you always have someone local from that market join you? Oh, absolutely. I love to bring like some spotlight to a local artist, just like if there's someone coming through my hometown, yeah. I like to volunteer and kind of uh, not only share my crowd base and everything, but then we can also help each other and grow it. And so that's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Home base for you is New York. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a New York girl. <laughs> How did you get started? What was it that drew you to being a musician? Oh, such a great question. I honestly never thought it was like a viable career, honestly, growing up. And it was always just a passion of mine. And I was that girl that was just like writing songs in her bedroom and too shy to tell anyone. And then it was my high school graduation. I graduated with like four or 500 people. And I got selected to play an original song on the piano. And I got a standing ovation wow. from my graduating class. And that was the moment I was like, oh, no, I think this is what I want to do. <laughs> yep, and you're doing it. Yeah, I can't believe I'm here and I'm still doing it. It's happening. <laughs> Devin, for you, what, what was it that got you into the music business? Uh, so I was a musical theater kid, and um, I only started writing music and performing out as myself in my 20s. And um, so I've always been a performer, but I just kind of shifted gears to something that spoke more to my heart and soul, and that's songwriting and um, and kind of showcasing, you know, what I have to say to the world. So I, I love it. It's a beautiful outlet, and I'm so so excited to be sharing the stage with with Emma Jude for this show. Um, we might even do a little collaboration. Mm -hmm. So oh, look out! Mm -hmm. I like, I love. It. <laughs> do you see? It seems to me that there's a lot more focus and a lot more attention given to singer songwriters. More mm -hmm. and more people are going back. To, they they want that that root music. You know that yeah. the the connection between the songwriter and the singer. Oh, I instead love of, that. Instead of the. No, I agree. I think that I've I've noticed that in the, um, a quote unquote post COVID world, like yeah. having a big arena show is so fun and amazing. But everyone's kind of like coming back and wanting that more intimate setting. Mm -hmm where they can really get to know someone and, and follow them. And that's that's really where, like, th those are the people that I love to hang out with, where I'm like, welcome to my journey. We're officially a, all a part of the story now. Uh, and it's much more of a conversation. Those are my favorite kind of shows, too. When you, are there some songs that you've written that are s difficult to perform live because they're so personal? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I, I think we were both talking before before the show how this is like our way of processing what we've been through. Uh, and so I know, I try and write every single day, but the ones that I think are my best songs are the ones that just kind of like come out and happen. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I like to hold on to those a little bit longer until I'm like ready to share them with the world. What do you, what do you think? Yeah, so there's a couple of songs uh, that I have that are very personal, very cathartic, but very, um, they're, they're sad because life can be that way. Of course. Um, anytime I write a sad song though, I always say there's hope in there. Mm. But, um, but I have uh, been known to once or twice perhaps shed a tiny tear on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah. Well, you're gonna get to hear them perform coming up in just a bit. They will be at the Blue Strawberry Friday, 7.30 p.m. is showtime, but showtime on the 9 a.m. is right after this break. Fox 2 News, stay with us.